Hello and welcome to Alexpo and here's one for you. Who's the best player you've ever used on FIFA? Maybe it was the FIFA 16 Lionel Messi or the FIFA 07 Ronaldinho or maybe it was the FIFA 13 Michu. There's been some elite FIFA cards in years gone by with the likes of Neymar and Trent alexander arnold rising through the numbers to become some of the best players in the game. But what I'm going to do is look at the best FIFA 11 ever. We're going to look at ratings from FIFA 07 all the way to the current game and I've made the best 11 possible using the best ratings ever seen but we're only talking initial ratings from the game's first release. None of these updated cards are team of the week shite, just the original core rating that a player got when the game first hit the shelves. I'll be using an attacking 4-3-3 formation so let's do it, here is the best ever FIFA 11. In goes the FIFA 07 Jean-Luigi Buffon. There were a few contenders for the goalkeeper in this ultimate FIFA 11, with multiple goalkeepers from years gone by getting ridiculously high ratings. No Jordan Pickford, you weren't one of them, calm down. The best keeper on FIFA 21 is Jan Oblak, and despite the talents of Alisson, Edison and Courtois, I think we've all got to agree that FIFA have got this right, there's no keeper in world football who's as good as Jan Oblak. This year he's in 91, and that's a rating that was beaten by Manuel Neuer on FIFA 17 and 18, and Gregory Coupe on FIFA 07. They both secured 92 ratings, but top of the pile is the Gianluigi Buffon we saw 14 years ago. The Italian sensation was a 93 rating, the best we've ever seen for a goalkeeper, which is fitting for one of the greatest stoppers of all time. Amazingly, he's still playing today at the age of 42, but is now down to an 82 rating. Right back is FIFA 17, Philip Lahm. Trent alexander arnold narrowly misses out here, just being pipped at the post by one of the greatest fullbacks ever seen. However, Lam only just gets into the team himself, as his 88 rating from FIFA 17 has been matched this year by his fellow countryman Joshua Kimmich. The Bayern midfielder is an 88 on this year's game, but his versatility means he can also play in defence as well as in the middle of the park, but I'm going to have to give it a little fill, as I just think he was a better right back than Kimmich. Lam was the ultimate pro, and Pep Guardiola proved that he could do a job anywhere, moving into midfield where he thrived. Whether he played at right back, left back or centre mid, Philip Lahm is one of the greatest footballers of the 21st century and his FIFA 17 rating of 88 gets him into the right back slot of this team. Our first centre back is the FIFA 07 John Terry. Ok so we've got a conundrum here at centre back as we've got 4 players who have been able to play centre back and had 91 ratings over the years and that's not even including the updated Virgil van Dijk from last year. And as all you number fans out there will know, 4 doesn't go into 2, unless we play half of each centre back. Two players are going to be disappointed, but one man who won't be is John Terry, who was a 91 with Chelsea back on FIFA 07. A top class, ruthless defender who won it all even when he wasn't on the pitch and wasn't afraid of ruffling feathers off it. I mean the absolute audacity to have an affair with your teammates misses. I don't know what's worse, that or doing it with your brother's lass. Allegedly. Hello Ryan Giggs, this is the only time you mention this video. Sorry. John Terry's alongside FIFA 07's Fabio Cannavaro. I've given the nod to the FIFA 07 Fabio Cannavaro who was on the back of lifting the 2006 World Cup with Italy and at the peak of his powers. Cannavaro was an absolutely incredible centre back, a typical Italian defender who just didn't put a foot wrong. He wasn't the biggest but he could read the game as if it was a piece of Shakespeare. A great leader and the man who should probably wear the armband in his team. Commiserations to the FIFA 07 Alessandro Nesta from FIFA 19 Sergio Ramos who sadly miss out. Left back is FIFA 19 Marcelo. Finally we've got some Brazilian flair in this team, but it was very nearly Scottish flair and Andy Robertson proved a little bit more over the past 12 months. The Liverpool stars the best left back on the new FIFA, but not the best ever, with the FIFA 19 Marcelo picking up a huge rating of 88. It's mad how much fullbacks have improved in recent years. Back in the day it was the least important position and it was reflected on FIFA with some of the less than stellar ratings of the top fullbacks at the time. I mean the fact Ashley Cole isn't even close here is scandalous. Even before Robbo and Trent, the fullback role was changing, but top of the pile here is Marcelo, who will be hoping his partner in crime Cristiano Ronaldo is in front of him. Spoiler alert, he is. In centre midfield is Xavi from FIFA 12. Centre midfield is a position that's changed over the years, which resulted in not too many players getting in the 90s there. However, the best centre midfielder in the history of the game, well between FIFA 07 and FIFA 21, is Xavi Hernandez and his 92 rating on FIFA 12. The Spaniard was a pass master and epitomised the golden era of Barcelona Football Club, an era they'll never likely see again. Alongside the likes of Iniesta and Messi, Xavi was the conductor in the middle, weaving passes and keeping possession, pulling the opposition in every direction, all the while never breaking sweat. His 92 rating is unrivaled for a centre midfielder and puts him at the heart of this ultimate FIFA 11. Next up we've got Kevin De Bruyne from either FIFA 19, 20 or FIFA 21. Finding Xavi's partner wasn't easy, as there are three players from years gone by who had 91 ratings when a new FIFA first hit the shelves and into our consoles. 
We've got FIFA 12 Andres Iniesta, FIFA 19 Luka Modric or any Kevin De Bruyne from the past three games. And so that I'm going to go with, as I just think De Bruyne will bring a bit more energy and box to box style that the other two don't really have, which will complement Xavi's short passing. De Bruyne is a wizard and the best player in the Premier League today, and a man who's taken his game to an even higher level in recent years, thus the ratings boost to 91. He's a nightmare to play against, give him a tiny bit of space and he'll pick up the top corner, and his delivery is so good you'd think he'd work for the Royal Mail. So for that reason he gets an order partner FIFA 12 Xavi in the centre of midfield. Attacking midfielders FIFA 20 Neymar We've got to have a cam in this team don't we, I and mean, I think the reason we all say cam is because of FIFA. But it was a toss up between two Brazilians to play in the number 10 role, and it's Neymar who just gets a hit of a man who was probably his hero, Ronaldinho. The legendary Brazilian was a 91 on FIFA 07 and FIFA 08, but sadly for the Jogger Benito star he's been totaled by FIFA 20 Neymar, who could play on the left or as an attacking midfielder. He was a 92 rating which gets him into this team, bringing some ridiculous flair to an already stellar team. I mean they're lacking an enforcer in the middle, maybe a Lee Catamull or a Carl Henry, someone who'll make a tackle, but sure three of the best players of the 21st century might work. On the right is Lionel Messi. I mean of course Lionel Messi was going to be in this team, and he's the player with the most right to be there. His best ever rating is 94, a rating that hasn't been totaled by anyone since FIFA 07 came out, and he's done it year after year, FIFA 12, FIFA 13, FIFA 14, FIFA 16, FIFA 19, FIFA 20, that's how many times Lionel Messi's been a 94 on everyone's favourite game not called Angry Birds. Do people still play Angry Birds in 2020? It's hard to say anything about Lionel Messi that hasn't been already said, so I don't think I'm going to bother. Just be safe in the knowledge that he's definitely on the right of our front three in this ultimate FIFA 11, not Gabriel Overtan. Up front is FIFA 07 Wayne Rooney. We've got our second Englishman in this team, I mean seriously how on earth can there be two players from these shots in what is effectively a best team ever? But whatever, you can't argue with the ratings, and Wayne Rooney was a 93 on FIFA 07 way back in the day. Obviously it appears to be on the cover of the game, but if that's the case, why aren't Joe Hart and Jack Wilshere in this team as well? The FIFA 07 Wayne Rooney was a force of nature, but massively overrated at 93. He gets in this team ahead of the 92 Luis Suarez from FIFA 18 and 19 and the 91 rated Robert Lewandowski from this year's game. Seriously, how is he not higher than that? He's the best striker on the damn planet. And on the left is the FIFA 17, 18 or 19 Cristiano Ronaldo. As expected we end things with Cristiano Ronaldo who completes our FIFA Ultimate 11, lining up in a front three with his rival Lionel Messi and his former teammate Wayne Rooney. The Ronaldo in this team can come from either FIFA 17, 18 or 19 as those are the years he was able to match the 94 rating Lionel Messi has been getting in years gone by. Bit weird that Ronaldo gets the 94 when Lionel Messi is no longer on the cover, but whatever, I'm saying out. So there we have it, there is the best ever FIFA 11 using ratings from FIFA 07 all the way up until FIFA 21. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Alexpo, you can follow me on Twitter, I'm at HITCJames, but until next time we will see you around.